What is the normal range for white blood cells? Hey there! Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing the normal range for white blood cells. White blood cells, also known as leukocytes, play a crucial role in our immune system, defending our body against infections and diseases. Understanding the normal range of white blood cells is important for diagnosing and monitoring various health conditions. So, let's dive in. What are white blood cells? Before we jump into the normal range, let's quickly recap what white blood cells are. White blood cells are a type of cells that are part of our immune system. They are produced in the bone marrow and circulate throughout our bloodstream. These cells help protect our body by identifying and destroying harmful pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, and other foreign substances. Different Types of White Blood Cells There are different types of white blood cells, each with its specific function. The main types of white blood cells include 1. Neutrophils. They are the most abundant type of white blood cells and are primarily responsible for fighting bacterial infections. 2. Lymphocytes. There are two main types of lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. B cells produce antibodies to neutralize pathogens, while T cells directly attack infected cells. 3. Monocytes. Monocytes are large cells that engulf and destroy bacteria, viruses, and dead or damaged cells. 4. Eosinophils. These cells are involved in allergic reactions and help defend against parasites. 5. Basophils. Basophils release chemicals, such as histamine, during allergic reactions and play a role in inflammation. Normal range for white blood cells. Now, let's get to the main point, the normal range for white blood cells. It's important to note that the normal range may vary slightly between different laboratories and can also depend on factors such as age, sex, and overall health. However, generally speaking, the normal range for white blood cells is 4,500 to 11,000 white blood cells per microliter of blood. This range applies to adults and older children. Infants and young children may have slightly higher white blood cell counts. When is a white blood cell count considered abnormal? While the normal range we mentioned earlier is generally applicable, a white blood cell count outside this range doesn't necessarily indicate a health problem on its own. Abnormal white blood cell counts can be caused by various factors, including infections, autoimmune disorders, medications, and other medical conditions. A low white blood cell count, known as leukopenia, can increase the risk of infections and may be caused by conditions such as viral infections, certain medications, bone marrow disorders, and autoimmune diseases. On the other hand, a high white blood cell count, known as leukocytosis, can be a response to infections, inflammation, or even certain medications. It can also be an indicator of conditions like leukemia, lymphoma, or other blood disorders. In summary, the normal range for white blood cells is typically 4,500 to 11,000 white blood cells per microliter of blood for adults and older children. Remember that the normal range may vary slightly depending on individual factors. If you have concerns about your white blood cell count, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional who can evaluate your specific situation and provide appropriate guidance. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health-related content. Stay healthy and take care.